Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS current affairs series. In this video, we are going to study a topic called blue carbon ecosystems. So this topic, it falls under GS3 paper, within GS3 paper, subtopic is environment and ecology. So this topic, it is not only important for plants, it is also important for mains. The question can be asked in both plants and mains with respect to blue carbon ecosystem. So we are going to, from the examination point of view, we are going to study what are blue carbon ecosystem in this video. So what are they, what is the significance of the blue carbon ecosystem? What are the challenges that uh, blue carbon ecosystems they are facing? Then the initiatives with respect to blue carbon ecosystem followed by one plants practice question. Recently, blue carbon ecosystems were in news because an article was published in the newspaper with respect to the importance of the blue carbon ecosystem in fighting against the climate change. Now we will discuss what are blue carbon ecosystems. So blue carbon ecosystems, they are coastal and marine habitats that capture and store carbon. So here we know the definition of ecosystem. Already we in the basics NCRT and uh, standard book in environment and ecology, we have studied what is ecosystem. Ecosystem, it is nothing but, ecosystem is a community of living organisms and their physical, their interaction with physical environment. So that is called as ecosystem. So here it is called as blue carbon ecosystem. So what does it mean? Blue indicates seas and oceans, that is water body, and carbon indicates the ability or the capacity of these ecosystems which are located in the coastal and marine environment to capture and store carbon. So in total it is called as blue carbon ecosystem. So blue carbon ecosystem are the ecosystem which are located in marine and coastal environment and which capture and store the carbon. So coming to the example for blue carbon ecosystem, we have mangrove ecosystem which is located in coastal area. Then we have seagrass and meadow, seagrass meadows which are located in the marine environment and kelp forest, kelp forest also located in marine environment. So these are the example for blue carbon ecosystem. So now we understood what is blue carbon ecosystem and example for blue carbon ecosystem. Now we will discuss the carbon sequestration potential of blue carbon ecosystem. So the capacity of the blue carbon ecosystem to capture and store the carbon which is there in the atmosphere. So why we need to capture and store the carbon? Because the whatever CO2 that is there in the atmosphere, it is causing global warming and also climate change. It is causing, causing global warming and climate change. So in order to avert climate change and global warming, we have to capture and store the carbon that is there in the atmosphere. So in that direction, the importance of the blue carbon ecosystem is very huge. So now we will discuss the carbon sequestration potential of blue carbon ecosystem. So the mangroves, the mangrove forests, which are located in the coastal area, they can sequester carbons at 10 times higher compared to the tropical forest. So we have tropical forest. This tropical forest, whatever they are sequestering carbon, so compared the mangroves, they sequester carbon 10 times more than the tropical forest. These blue carbon ecosystem, they have, they have a capacity to sequester 1000 tons of carbon per hectare. Per hectare, they sequester 1000 tons of carbon that is nothing but CO2. And also, the restoration of 10% degraded mangroves all over the world can sequester additionally 1.6 billion ton of CO2. So, that is the capacity carbon sequestration potential of blue carbon ecosystem. That is why the blue carbon ecosystem are very important in fighting against climate change and global warming. Now we will discuss the economic and environmental benefits of the blue carbon ecosystem. The economic benefits are 
so the blue carbon ecosystem they sustain local economies like fisheries they provide sustainable fishery opportunity for uh, uh, fishermen who are dependent on fisheries and also they promote eco tourism these mangrove forest and uh, sea grass meadows they promote eco tourism example in india the restored mangroves in the eastern coast especially in sundarbans they have increased the coastal gdps and also they attracted the government funding and also tourism and coming to the economic returns every 1 dollar dollar 1 invested in blue carbon ecosystem restoration it results in dollar 6 returns so that is the economic potential of blue carbon ecosystem so coming to the environmental benefits this we have already discussed these blue carbon ecosystem they provide habitat for various types of living organisms like the sea grass meadows they provide habitat for fisheries and the mangroves they provide habitat for various birds and reptiles then this blue carbon ecosystem it is also important to avert the global warming and climate change now we will discuss the challenges in conservation of blue carbon ecosystem so what are the challenges associated with conservation of blue carbon ecosystem the threats that blue carbon ecosystem are facing are agricultural expansion so what is happening because of the population pressure and the increased demand for food increasing demand for food grains the agricultural area is expanding so because of that what is happening now the mangrove which are there in the coastal area they have been being deforested so because of agriculture expansion the mangrove forest is decreasing then coastal development so what are the different developments that are happening in the coastal we are developing ports we are developing inland waterways we are developing harbors so these are all the so such coastal development projects they are posing threat to the sea grass meadows and uh, mangroves then illegal logging of mangrove forest that is also threatening blue carbon ecosystem coming to the systemic hurdles that are associated with the blue carbon ecosystem are delay in project development due to government issues the projects which are about to restore the blue carbon ecosystem they are facing delay due to various governance issues that is threatening the restoration of the blue car- blue carbon ecosystems and also carbon credit market challenges the lack of transparency is undermining the investor confidence in blue carbon ecosystem so these are the few challenges associated with blue carbon conservation coming to the key initiatives with respect to blue carbon ecosystem in india indian government has launched a scheme called mangrove initiative for shoreline habitats and tangible incomes so this scheme it is in short called as mishti so this uh, scheme is meant to restore the mangrove habitat and conserve the whatever mangrove habitat is there and also it should ensure the livelihood it should increase or ensure the livelihood of the local community which are dependent on fishing and other activities and also one of the objective is to increase the eco tourism to increase the potential of eco tourism in mangrove area so this focuses on mangrove restoration and enhances sustainability and also provides climate resilience so these are the objectives of the mishti scheme so this is all about blue carbon ecosystem based on the topic that we have discussed so far that is blue carbon ecosystems here we have provided one prelims practice question the question contains four statements go through all the four statements and comment your answer the answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the pdf handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel thank you for watching see you in the next video till then happy learning